This is a devastating security breach that was leaked out of the Pentagon. The most highly classified documents of the war. The Times says 7,000 pages detailing how the White House has been lying about the Vietnam War for 30 years. Ben Bradley was a newspaper man through and through. He loved the business and he loved what the job was. He, he, he loved what the job was to, to find the truth, discern what it is, and put it out there and let people decide for themselves. His, uh, uh, his coming to the Washington Post a few years earlier uh, uh, was, was based on this constant dynamism of, what, of what, the, what the daily charge is for journalists, for his journalism, which is you must get it right that day because if you're wrong, you're going to have to eat that inaccuracy for a very, very, very long time. If you do get it right, if you do tell the truth, the only thing you get from is the opportunity to try to do it again the very next day. So he's a newspaper man. We're concerned about having a woman in charge of the paper, that she doesn't have the resolve to make the tough choices. Thank you, Arthur, for your frankness. Let's do our jobs. Find those pages. Merrill. Uh, or as I call her, Miss Streep, she has, um, she has three or four moments of pure cinema that are, um, are magnified by the place that they come in the movie. It's one thing to have a cool line and a cool shot uh, and have a cool beat in a movie, but it's something else in order to have them play out when the entire movie is hanging in the balance and you're on the edge of their seat. To make this decision, to risk her fortune and the company that's been her entire life. Well, I think that's brave. If the government wins, the Washington Post will cease to exist. Stephen is, uh, he's a great regulator of the, t of the tempo and the timbre of a scene. Um, he is, uh, he will ignore moments that you think are important and come in specifically on moments that you didn't even see as being all that necessary because he's looking at some other aspect of the, of the scene. He would come up to me and he would ask for a little more voice. He would ask for some other kind of like, more like specifics. But he would also then periodically come by and say, don't be so sure of yourself. I said, wow, wow, I love that. Not so sure. Or other times it would, he would say, come in, don't say anything. Just, just watch and observe. And that's a lot of times that's the antithesis of what actors want to do, but it's actually the person that it's the perfection of uh, of what can be screen acting because then you're just being, as opposed to pontificating. What are you going to do, Mrs. Graham? 